have some empties to share with you guys. So here's my big old bag of empties. And this is probably going to get really super obnoxious because my bag is super loud. But I'm just going to pull out the products and talk about them as quickly as I possibly can because I do have quite a few products. So the first product is from Giovanni and this is their leave-in hair treatment. It is a heat protector as well. And this isn't my favorite product. I've tried the Desert Essence heat protector as well and I don't really like that either because of the scent. The scent is very artificial. And I find with this product, the scent is a little bit better. However, it does make my hair quite tacky. It kind of leaves like a nasty film on my hair that I don't like. So I haven't really found the perfect heat protector yet. So if you guys have any suggestions on any heat protectors that are cruelty free that you like, let me know. If not, then I probably will just repurchase this again. Next product is from Aubrey, and this is the Primrose Tango Go Hair Conditioner and Detangler. So another hair product, and I have to say I don't like this one either. The problem with this product is the scent. It has a very strong rose scent. It smells like, like an old grandma closet like the nasty old grandma perfume that's heavily rose scented that's exactly what it smells like and it's just too overpowering and you know you just want to take a shower all over again after using this product because it stinks so much but it does condition the hair so the product itself works but the scent is just too much okay next product is actually a cleaning product i use this for any surfaces that I want to clean that my daughter is in contact with, so toys, anything like that. Um, it's a natural all-surface cleaner, and it smells like lavender. I really do like this product. We'll repurchase this. I buy this off of Vitacost for a really good price. Next product is a big guy. This is from Tarte, and this is the Pure Maracuja Oil. I won't be repurchasing this. I really do like this product, but um, Tarte is no longer cruelty-free. They are owned by Coast now. So, um, you know, I do have other oils that I like even better, so it's not even a big deal. I like my Josie Marin Argan Oil, and I also have plenty of serums that work just as good or even better, actually. So, I do like the packaging of this, though. It's super cute, so I probably will keep the packaging and put some oils in there. Next product is from Alba Botanica, and this is their fragrance-free leave-in conditioner. Uh, I do really like this product. I do buy this quite often on Vitacost. And I really like it because it's a huge tub and um, the whole family uses this. I use this on my daughter um, and my boyfriend uses this as well. I don't use leave-in conditioners all the time, but when I feel like my hair needs that extra moisture, it's super dry in the ends, then I will use this. So, uh, I mean, this takes quite a long time to actually finish up. So. It's well worth the money, and it's not, you know, it's not expensive at all. So it does the job. I do like it, and I will repurchase that. Next product, this is a moisturizer from Living Nature. This is a New Zealand product, and it was a good moisturizer, but it is very heavily scented, and I find that a lot of New Zealand products have that really heavy herbal scent to them. So I won't repurchase it. Um, it is a active Manuka Honey nourishing day cream which uh, Manuka honey is really really great if you have dry skin uh, but I do have some um, Antipodes products that have uh, Manuka honey as well so I'll stick with those and I won't repurchase this. This is one of my favorites from Lush. This is the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. I don't use this on my body though I just use it on my face and it's an amazing uh, facial scrub. Um, I will say that as of now, it's kind of too abrasive for my skin. My skin is quite sensitive at the moment, so I probably won't repurchase this right now, like right away, but I definitely will repurchase this in the future. Um, it is a very, like, creamy consistency with, um, sea salt in it, and yeah, it smells amazing. It always makes my mouth water every time I open this product because it smells that good. Another favorite, this is from Desert Essence, and this is their Gentle Nourishing Eye Cream for Dry and Sensitive Skin. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend uh, this product if you're looking for a good eye cream. 
I am on the hunt for a good gel cream. I may go for the Angelou Naturals one, but I don't know if that's hydrating enough for my under eyes, so I'm still on the fence about that. But this is definitely one of my favorites, and I definitely will repurchase this. It's fragrance-free, so it doesn't have any funky smell to it, which I do like. Next product is from Badger, and this is a sunscreen. This is the uh, Damascus Rose with Lavender and Chamomile Antioxidant Face Sunscreen, and it, this is the Broad Spectrum SPF 16. So it's not a very strong SPF uh, sunscreen, um, and I will say that this was like super, super thick, and it did make my skin look uh, very pale. It did give me a white cast, which I really didn't like. I did like the pump. Like, the pump is pretty neat. I always appreciate a good pump. However, the product is just super, super thick that uh, the product wasn't able to actually come out of the pump um, after a while. And the scent was kind of strong. So, there's a lot of things that I didn't like about this product, so I wouldn't repurchase this. Next product is a Balanced Seawater Facial Mist, and this is from the company Authentic Skin Remedies. And I believe I got this from my lovely friend Viv Valor uh, from Valor Beauty. And um, I really love this product. I actually pop this in my purse, and I just use this anytime I want to like freshen up my makeup. And just even when I didn't have makeup at all, I just kind of like spritzed it on my face as like a toner. And I liked the scent of this as well. It has very simple ingredients. It has seawater and essential oils of sandalwood, rosewood, lavender, and rose geranium. So I really did like this product and I probably will repurchase it. Another Lush product. This is the Sympathy for the Skin Hand and Body Lotion, another favorite of mine. You get a big tub of this. It's amazing. It smells like creme brulee and it's super hydrating. So yes, I will repurchase this and I have repurchased this already. I love this product. This is from Shea Radiance and this is the moisturizing hair milk. Now, this isn't really ideal for those of us with really thin hair, but I just love the scent of this and I loved how silky and soft my hair felt after using this product. So for that, I probably will repurchase it. And I think my daughter is coming in. Okay, so as I was saying, yes, I definitely would repurchase this. Um, and this is actually more ideal for those who have curly and wavy hair. Next product is from My Shell Dermaceuticals. And this is the Creamy Pumpkin Cleanser for Dry Skin. I hands down would repurchase this. It's one of my favorite cleansers. It smells like a pumpkin pie. And it's just super creamy, super emollient. It's amazing, so yes, definitely want to repurchase that. This is a little, little itty bitty tube of the Glow by Dr. Branch Ruby Crystal Retinol Hydro Cream. I actually have the eye cream of this, which I really love the eye cream. I felt like this was very similar to the eye cream, um, but it didn't really hydrate my skin all too well. It does have a really nice, like, pearlescent kind of glow to it. But that's about it. It didn't really amaze me. So I wouldn't dish out the money for this. This is from Blasoma. And this is the Adaptive Energy Tonic. Uh, this reminded me a lot of my Angelou Naturals toner. So um, I already have my Angelou Naturals one. And I have a pretty big bottle of that. So I probably wouldn't repurchase this. So yeah. Another Blissoma product. This is the Herbal Gel Cleanser and Makeup Remover. This was actually pretty amazing. It did remove all my makeup and it didn't dry out my skin. I find with some gel cleansers that they are quite drying on my skin, but this one was quite hydrating for a gel cleanser. So I was impressed by this and I do plan on getting some other things from Blissoma to try because I love my skincare. This is from Acure and this is their conditioner. This is the Moroccan Argan Stem Cell and Argan Oil Conditioner. I have also tried the shampoo and I finished that one up as well but I threw away the bottle. Um, I liked their hair products at first, uh, their shampoo and conditioner anyways. I did like their products, however I did feel like since this is quite a hydrating line, it was too hydrating for my hair and it just weighed down my hair. And also at first I did like the scent of this. It has a 
almond marzipan kind of smell but the more I use this product the more I dislike the smell and it started to remind me and this is going to sound pretty nasty but it started to remind me of the toilet cakes you know those little circles that you put in your toilet to freshen up the toilet that's what this started to smell like no lie so definitely would not repurchase that Next thing is from The Honest Company, and this is their Honest Face and Body Lotion. It's fragrance-free. I used this for my first trimester on my face, and I really liked it. Uh, I was very thankful that this was a fragrance-free product because at that point in time, that's all I basically could use. So it was very, like, soothing on the skin. Um, I believe it does have, like, chamomile in it. But, yeah, it was very soothing on the skin. Very nice, definitely what we purchase. So next two things are both from Walita. And this is the Pomegranate Regenerating Body Lotion and the Walita Wild Rose Pampering Body Lotion. I didn't like the rose scented body lotion. It was too heavily scented of rose. Rose is kind of a hit or miss for me and this was just too much. So would not repurchase that. And then the pomegranate one, it did smell really nice. So I would look into repurchasing this. The next product is a mascara from the brand Flower. I have to say that every mascara I've ever tried from Flower has really impressed me. I have to say that their mascaras are kind of like the standout of their brand. And this is the Lash Knockout Volumizing Mascara. So it did give me some good volume. So yeah, I definitely would recommend you checking out any of their mascaras. I, I definitely say that all of them. Uh, perform really really well. This is from the brand Body Ventures, which is I believe an independent company. I got this in one of my Eco Emmys, and this is the Maya R Riviera Honey Organic Sugar Scrub. Um, I mean, I wasn't too impressed by this product. It has a brown sugar kind of scent to it, which really didn't bother me. I did think that this product was going to be too drying on my skin because it really didn't have too much oils in it. However, it was pretty hydrating. I just have so many body scrubs that, you know, I don't have any plans to repurchase this particular one. But it was okay. This is the iSun Vegan Moisturizing Mask. And I actually have the full size of this. This stuff is pretty amazing. It smells like chocolate and mint, which who doesn't love that? And it's super, super hydrating. So if you have dry skin, you definitely need this in your life. It's absolutely amazing. And I really haven't heard people talk about this company uh, and it's definitely a good one so I have the full size of this and after I finish the full size I definitely will repurchase that and the last product is from Lush and this is their gorgeous facial moisturizer and I wanted to try this for the longest time and I finally got my hands on it it smells just like lovely jubbly so it has a pretty nice you know jasmine scent to it but I wasn't really all too impressed with it. I mean, it's supposed to be good for those who have sensitive skin, those who, who have rosacea, redness around their face, and I felt like it really didn't do anything. I mean, I would say it's kind of like a soothing moisturizer, but I have other moisturizers that are less money than this. This is an $80 moisturizer, which is ridiculous. So I definitely, I definitely don't think that this is worth the money. So wouldn't want to purchase that and what is it guys i'm done with all my empties i hope that you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys